Hi there, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, showing the latest version of P5, that's version 706. We're running here on one of the latest Apple M1 Macs, so you can see we're running the Monterey version 12 of the Mac OS. This is an M1 Mac, and with this version um, we're not only supporting that operating system, but also supporting uh, the Apple Silicon architecture. So you can see here this NSD process that I'm showing you in the activity monitor as the kind set to Apple here, whereas it would say Intel for previous versions where uh, the Rosetta 2 emulation layer in the operating system is emulating Intel binaries on the Apple Silicon ARM architecture. So this version and, and uh, for the following versions will all be uh, running M1 native, which gives us some performance advantages. So on this Mac, we have connected up a Simply Pro enclosure with an LTO9 drive, LTO9 being the very latest of the LTO generations introduced this year, 2021, and has a, a native uh, uncompressed 18 terabytes per tape capacity. So we have one of these enclosures attached. And if I go back to the About and look at the system report on this Mac, which shows me the attached hardware, you can see this is attached via Thunderbolt. So you can see here we have the Simply Pro enclosure and this has a SAS interface internally which is connected up to the Ultrium uh, LTO9 drive. It also has a SAS breakout port on it so you can attach other SAS devices to it because obviously SAS, SAS ports don't exist on the Mac Mini but you can create them by having a bridge via the Thunderbolt port. So uh, yeah, we've got, the, um, we've got the Simply Pro LTO hardware and I just wanted to give you a quick demo of P5 running on here. So what I've done within this P5 installation is I've labeled um, the tape that's in this drive. I've already run a couple of jobs to it. So this tape is labeled for archive. Uh, this particular demo, I'm using the native um, tape format of Barkyware, but it could just as easily be uh, formatted as an LTFS tape. And um, let's run an archive to it. So if we manually archive some data that's on this GRAID here, so we've got this uh, ARX folder. So if we just locate that in P5's web interface and archive it, really simple setup. Just took five minutes to uh, configure Archiware to do this. Uh, you can see that that folder is now being archived. And in a sec, we'll see the instantaneous write speeds that we're getting to that LTO9 drive, which we should be somewhere in the region of 300 megabytes per second for a half height drive. This is video media that we're archiving which won't compress so we won't get over the uh, the native speed of the drive as it were. So you can now see the average or instantaneous speed that we're achieving writing these uh, media files so we're getting somewhere around um, peaking around 300 megabytes a second and you can see down here here's, a, here's another run of the same job which archived about a quarter of a terabyte uh, in about 15 minutes. So that's uh, speed consistent with the, uh, with the speed of the drive. Okay, end of the uh, little video. Just wanted to show you all of this running together because it's quite a nice opportunity to uh, show you what we have with the latest version of P5. Bye.